Anthony Ferraro, and Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Welcome back. It's Four Bad Eyes, but this week it is a special Six Bad Eyes episode because we have another blind person with us, blind skateboarder. Amazing human being, friend, Justin Bishop. Amazing skateboarder. Amazing to have you on the podcast, Justin. Uh, Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Yeah. I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. uh, We're all in town for a contest in Florida, so we're in the hotel room. Everything's set up nice. Extra mic. And yeah, tomorrow's a contest. Yep. Um, I know you guys are nervous, dude. I'm actually, (laughs) honestly, when (laughs) it's... When it's so packed like this, all the nerves go away because it's like, well, what could, what, what else could I have done? You know, waited all day to try to get a run in. So, yeah, yeah, like it's it's honest, like, oh, whatever happens. At least going to clear the park for us. <sighs> yeah, it's yeah. a skating contest is a completely different animal, like than just mm. skating, you know, at your leisure, or, like doing your own tricks and stuff. Because it, it's a whole new like pressure and you know time crunch. And I feel like you were really experienced in that, Justin. Like you do that, you've done a lot of competitions. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I I was a uh, uh, did a lot of competitions when I was sighted. Uh, a lot of skate competitions. Oh, then. you did. Yeah, I did a lot. You know, like you, you know how like uh, growing up uh, in the um, late '90s, early 2000s, mm-hmm. there'd be like the filming homies, and there'd be the competition homies, mm-hmm. and then I'd be on the competition side. So. You grew up in Nevada. Yep. 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 Vegas. Uh, Vegas. So you grew up on the. Uh, skate scene, the competition skate scene. Yep. Yeah, I've been uh, skating competition since I was 13. Dang. Yeah, and then, well, cool. yeah, last year you were number one ranked in the adaptive. Yeah, number series. one in bowl adaptive, number two in street adaptive. The, the street one was just showing up enough. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you show up enough times. Enough you, like, points. These points add up. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you definitely put the work in. I, I've skated street with you, and it's insane. Yeah, yeah, like uh, uh, sometimes, like uh, because of Dan, uh, your tricks, your your tech skills are so intense, though it always forces me. I'm like, ah, now I have to throw big. my body. Yeah, yeah. Now I gotta go big, yeah. jumping but, on rails. Yeah, but it works. I don't have that patience to like learn a flip trick to a grind. I'd rather like you know I'm gonna try this thing till my hip gives out or something <laughs> like that. I'd rather that. And I'm like, oh, at least I can go home in two hours instead of that four hour frustration when you just battles. like yeah, I want to break your board and stuff like that. Yeah, I so. mean it's got to you got to put your time in that bowl though, figuring out your runs and all that. That's a lot of yeah, but it's, it's kind of it's, just as technical as I mean putting a bowl line together. Not sighted and like knowing your your lines and everything is so hard to do. It's easier because of the adrenaline. So like you're going straight off of adrenaline. You know, you know, Anthony, (laughs) it's adrenaline. So half the times, like after you land a trick in the bowl, you're more surprised that you rolled away and you don't even think about how you land it, what happened to get you there. It's just, it's just adrenaline. That adrenaline is like so intensified during that contest too. Like I remember warming. So I went to my first ever contest a couple months ago at the border with, and Justin was skating too, and it was insane. Like from the second we were practicing the day before, you're standing up there and you're just imagining yourself in this contest, like trying to figure out your lines, <laughs> and the pressure is like so intensified. As soon as yeah. they're like, "You guys ready?" And, and that That's adrenaline it. when you land anything, it's like, "Holy shit! I'm ro- like I'm rolling away from this right now." Like <laughs> Justin says, it's insane. Yeah, I'm always and, bad at contest too because. At, by the end of the contest, I don't remember what I did during it because, like, what you're talking about, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> you black so, out. Yeah. That's like, yeah. uh, I know that feeling, absolutely. Yeah. So, just to give uh, listeners like a background, you weren't always blind, right? <laughs> no, no, me and Dan have the uh, same condition, RP. Uh, I have a different mutation. Same parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah same dad, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, not really. Yeah, I know. I, I like your mom. I hope not. Like yeah. she, she, she could do way better than my dad. So <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Carol with an E. Yeah, up, mom. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. So um, I have a different mutation. Um, mine affected uh, from the inside out. Um, so when I was growing up, they would do these uh, tunnel vision tests, and they'd be like putting their fingers off to the side of my head. I'm like, I see that. We're good. Mm-hmm. And at the, we had no idea that I was losing my vision from the center. 
So mm. yeah, it was. Yeah, weren't you saying they thought it was um, macular degeneration? Yeah, MD uh, or Stargard? Yeah, Stargard yeah. macular degeneration. It wasn't until like the way uh, you were losing your sight. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, everything was like blurry at first uh, when I was like uh, eight, ten. Everything was like kind of blurry, but still there. And they're like, yeah. oh, it might be this, but then they're like, no, it's RP. Oh, you started seeing it at that young of age, though. Yeah, it was the blurs where like glasses weren't fixing it. Uh-huh. So like it was just like I couldn't see the board in front of me, but like you what know, time? Did like an ophthalmologist was did anybody like when were they? Like, I was at oh, a retinal uh, different. Uh, retinal, uh, retinal specialist right away. Um, oh, you were. Yeah, one of the reasons they like diagnosed RP so fast because it was in the family. So they oh, were like they're okay. like this is this and like we've never seen this, but back then. I don't. I don't feel like in the '90s they knew how many different forms yeah. of uh, RP the mutation was. So my mutation came from like I was hanging out by the sewer. Yeah, I, I ate this green ooze. Yeah, dude, he turned into a turtle. And I started hanging out with these turtles. Yeah, yeah. But you no, know, you have siblings, right? Yeah, yeah. They're all younger, so right. they okay. knew what to look for. And are they're, any they're all of your good. siblings affected by it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So. Um, like I, I, I kind of ruined it for them because <laughs> I, I got to drive and everything. And so oh. people didn't know what to look for, for me. And, um, you know, when I was 20, I was in like a little car accident. Uh, mm-hmm. and that's where like, they were like, Ooh, you can't drive anymore. But what happened? did they say that? Or did you kind of make that decision or were you like, I, I can still Wait, drive. It was, it was, it was more of like, I, cause I scraped the side of a wall and I did not see the oh, wall. Not happened. even, it was a full oh, wall. No. Like it was just, <laughs> and I was like, and then like, of course, after like, you know, two seconds after I was like, I saw it and I was like, I did not see that at all. That wall right there. Yeah. Oh, a full no. wall. And so the, whole uh, side of my car scraped and then Damn. I was like all right you know I knew something Take like your- this gonna happen so we went to the uh my retinal specialist and I was like if they say it then I have to yeah I was kind of hoping because it was it happened in the daytime uh which is you know RP one of the first things to go is uh your night uh your, your night vision uh-huh. uh so I was like all right you know but hopefully I can still drive during the day cause, but it happened during the day and then they ran Damn. some tests and they were like Nah, you're done. I was like, oh, man, they didn't tell me. Like, I wasn't supposed to go blind until I was like 50. Did yeah, you get that yeah, diagnosis they were too? Like, yeah, they told me, don't worry about it. By yep. the time you get older, you, there's going to be a cure. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, I'm in stress. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, well, I guess yeah. better a wall than anything else, though. Is yeah. Uh, like I said, so there's I was always cool a with cure it. in the future for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't even 20 care. years. Yeah. <laughs> I always liked you guys get. Why don't you guys just get an eye transplant? Like, oh my yeah. God. You know, be so taking I anything. Yeah. I do have one. Mine's so you plastic. are on the oh, side. Yeah. I, just to, I yeah. know I've spoken to a few different blind people yeah. and there's some people that are like, I would never get my uh, vision back if I had the opportunity. Yeah. Or I would never want to yeah. see mm-hmm. if I could. Are you? So there's two. So the two questions I get is, would I get it back? Hell yeah, in a heartbeat. But the other one is, if you could... Uh, go back in time and it never happened would you I was like no I like that mm-hmm. I got to experience it it changed me it made me better I had to evolve fast so no mm-hmm. I wouldn't change my experience but the minute there's a cure like I'd rather be a mediocre skater instead of a great blind skater that's <laughs> I'd, I'd rather yeah, just yeah. settle right there I miss flying in the skate park I still try to fly but I, I miss flying Anthony was talking I about talked that. to Dan to cruise, yeah. yeah I talked to Dan about that where I'll be standing at a skate park and it's like something like today you know where there's they're just lines flying. for days. You can fly all around. Yeah. And I just want so bad to be able to do that. But you're sitting there just, it, you yeah. can't help but have that. Yeah, thought. You, Cause you never got to experience that. No. You picked it up like when you were yeah. losing your sight. Yeah, so, so it's well, the I never had, best feeling. I never yeah. had like sight well enough to see, to skateboard, I guess yeah. you could say. Yeah. Like it was just more Still don't. seeing images. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like seeing like uh, objects. Okay. Still yeah. can't skate rope. Yeah, yeah, I know I can't, bro. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, you got more balls than I didn't see you jumping down head, a four dude. stair. I'm getting in your head for I the know. contest. Yeah, dude. he jumped down a four stair, man. He That's down. it. It's so, so scary I to brought, jump down anything. any stair set. Yeah, it's it's like I, I brought. Uh, you actually inspire me for all yeah. that stuff. I'm not kidding. Um, watch you send it, like, dude. Yeah. You and that bowl was insane. That was yeah. so awesome to experience. Even just today, watch like. Listening to the tricks you're doing, you're like flying out of the bowl. You're doing yeah. blunt stalls back in on pool coping, and it's like mm-hmm. nose picks, and it's like, dude, it's it's amazing. Yeah, you know, I don't know how how many, like, were you doing these things when you when you could see skateboarding? Yeah, and more, and yeah. more, and yeah. were how long did it take you to kind of like pick that those tricks back up? 
It's, I'm still working on a lot, trying to get a lot of what I had back. Um, even this year, uh, I, I finally hit a um, streak where, um, Dan, because you skated before, uh, I was when I was sighted, it took four years to understand skateboarding to be like, all right, I'm not recklessly hoping for the best. I can control this board. I can control the chaos. I might not land the trick, but I know what's supposed to happen. I know how to manipulate myself to get it. And it might not happen, but I, I know what's supposed to happen. That start- took four years. This time, it's I finally have hit that peak. And it happened in December. I've been uh, nonstop skating since uh, September. Mm-hmm. And I finally hit that thing where it's like, I know what's supposed to happen. I know how to get to what I'm trying to do. And um, it's, the, it, the, it's like the days where you feel like, well, I feel good on my skateboard. I feel comfortable. Uh, it, it's... Uh, Kind of, I don't know, like because of bowl skating, you can be a great bowl skater and not know what you're doing because you're just, the, if the balls are there and you have the confidence, that's half of bowl skating is just the confidence. Mm-hmm. And then there's the understanding, like how to sit on your board, how to you know get these errors, how to like know the uh, feeling of the transition. Mm-hmm. That is like on a different level. And I finally hit that where I'm like, I understand the, the bowl. I understand mm-hmm. these curves mm-hmm. and how to pump them properly instead of just um hit them straight or uh, same mm-hmm. thing with the stairs mm-hmm. is and, i can finally get it now and like when to pump to right to get that because you were yep. flowing through that bowl where you didn't have to stop yeah a- and you have those lines and that's a, i find hard as being like blind to yeah to really find those pump tracks like where to do it and lines, when yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it took about uh I'm, it's been six years skating uh blind and it took that long to finally Feel be able to way. get into get a bowl, feel back. it, have a couple of runs because I still have to throw away some runs, and then I can have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. I saw something about you where was it? Um, I don't remember if it was when you were already went blind or yeah. when you, or if it was your first contest. But it was honestly a really inspiring thing to me where it just made me go up and get outside with my skateboard because I was like, this is incredible. Like you, you um went to a contest and you figured out what line you wanted to do. Right. Yep. And you did that line over and over. I think yep. it was for like a month or something. Yep. Yep. That Can was... you tell me that story? Yeah. So when I was 13, it was my very first competition. Um, and I was skating advanced uh, and I was skating against like, uh, 16 to 20 year olds. And they were just, Prime. Uh, <laughs> they were just amazing. And so I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, like, you know, embarrass myself. So I was like, I just, I'll practice this line. And so I practiced the same line for a straight month. And I would like <laughs> get off of school, go there, get this. And, you know, if I'd had it down, then I'm like, you know, maybe I can add a kickflip over this gap. What was the line? Um, so I started out cause you know, daddy always goes big. So one of the first <laughs> things, is, two canes. Yeah. So I can't, uh, I remember cause I, I practiced this. I'd start from one end of the park, just man run it throw my board down, roll into the bowl. And then I cleared this thing called a biker gap where skaters, it was bikes hit it, not skateboards. So I, I hit that gap from a bowl to bowl transfer. And then, um, yeah. And then from there it, cause and then it leads into like a street section. And then from there it was like, you know, feebles. I think I got like, um, a kickflip indie over a trash can off like a hip or something like yeah. that. And I was just like, you were one of those little groms, like a thirteen-year-old yep. just shredding the park. Yeah, yeah. So, Damn. yeah. So I got. First. Did you have that line right Wait. away, like when you started I, practicing it? I didn't have. So the ball transfer, I was like, if I get that, because like nobody hits that. So if I if I get that, I used uh, to skate this line with bikers. So uh, the bikes would hit it, and then I would be in their line <laughs> skating with the way they would skate because they go fast, <laughs> and so. Um, it, uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd skate with them, learn that. And then it was just, I had the line I wanted. I knew the obstacles I wanted to hit and then I would add stuff. So like mm-hmm. it started like the first month was like, I would just ollie the trash can. Then mm-hmm. it became like an, uh, you know, a, a melon grab over in the trash can. And then it eventually like two weeks in, I had, and then two weeks I got a kickflip over the trash can, uh, like just in my run every time. So it was just that. Damn, dude. That's amazing. You got first that yeah, one? first place, yeah. Dude, how did you feel? <laughs> like that that's 
it sucks because <laughs> the only way it, there's only down or you're stabilizing. So it, it kind of yeah. sucked because then after is, that you're like, fuck, you're like a. It's now, super now I have to do that you gotta every one time. One up that dude. Yeah, yeah so one up yourself. Yeah, that is. It's like I just yeah. set the bar high for myself. Yeah, yeah. But this was a you know back then competition uh, competition skating wasn't cool. Street skating was like the coolest thing you can do. Um, and so I just I, I've always had a hard time um, skating one thing i love skating everything and so when like everybody was like oh we're gonna skate these stairs and this handrail i was like i did that last weekend like oh now i want to do this or i want to mm-hmm. skate a ditch or i want to skate a pool or so it was always uh you know skating anything i can and competition skating you could do that because skate parks have everything mm, slowly making the switch back man contests are getting bigger and bigger yeah it's crazy streets yeah. going away slowly dude Gotta hold on to it. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere because like no. it's it's so solid. You gotta have your part. You got like my last part. Like I made sure I did like a classic VX part. Like I was mm-hmm. like I need you know. Mm-hmm. So if guys like me, I know people are still doing VX and they stop making VX tape. Mm-hmm. So like it's they're hoarding them. Yeah, yeah. So if people are still coming <laughs> out with VX parts and they're not even making v, uh, VX tapes and yeah. like it's the black it's still market. good. Yep. Yeah. So for you, real. So you use. Let's call it a beeper box. Yep. Because a little battery powered mm-hmm. beeper is beep, 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 beep. Yep. To help you direct yourself. Were you using that back when you started in like that original contest or anything? No, no. So no, I was, I was 13 sighted. in that one. That was 13. Oh, that was when you were sighted? Yeah, that was when oh, I was sighted. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah, thought it was like yeah. your first I contest. I wish I could. If, if I oh, could kick flip over a trash can, I'd be more amazed that I got, that, was, o- that I found the trash can to get over it. I, that <laughs> yeah. was your. Um, My very first competition. First contest ever. Yeah. I don't. Uh, That's good though. Um, Wait, so. When did you start? Uh, when after you went blind? Yeah, it was twenty five. When it took you what uh, uh, six months to a year to start skating uh, again? Was no, it? I, I it took me six months to you know it, it took me like two months to just because like my vision went pretty rapidly because it was central vision. So like when I was twenty five, like uh, a week at the skate park, what most you know like people um, with other types of RP, like their tunnel vision start coming in. Like I've you know th- this di- this degree, this degree. Mm-hmm. Um, your central vision, you only have like I think it's like five degrees, mm-hmm. and so the minute like you know is starting right off with five degrees, and then you're done. Mm-hmm. And so um, and that's your your center vision, like your actual detail, like yep. reading yeah. print. Yeah, like you use that definitely more than your uh, peripheral. actual yeah. peripheral. Yeah, so when that happened, it, it, there's a good sense because like from the probably like 23 to 25, I was still skating, but like I still had like, I should have been, I, I should have been using a cane at bars. I should have mm-hmm. been like, you know, doing things at night that like I did not do. I should have been preparing for like Braille and yeah. shit like that. But it took me a long time to, um, Two months in my room just drinking, um, you know. I got to grieve, though, which is good, you know. You went lot. through the grieving. Yes. Yeah. That's the most important part, I think. Yeah. Because no, there's it, people it, that don't. It really is. And then I always tell people, too, that are, like, slowly uh, losing their vision. Like, they have to grieve every month because, like, oh, now I can't see this. It's and it's a, a slow grieve. Yeah. Yeah. And I finally just got one Band-Aid pull off, which, like, no, knowing now, like, I'm so glad that happened. It sucked, mm-hmm. but... So that took me two months to like stop drinking. Um, then it took me about a year to get more comfortable with traveling alone. Like not mm-hmm. like traveling right. alone was one of the scariest things being independent. It was about three years and that's when I was like ready to return to work. Um, but that sucked too, because like I wanted to work so bad and then like I'd be like trying like no one would hire me and then like my last resort I was like I'll wash dishes I don't give a fuck I mm-hmm. just want to work I want to be something yeah get like feel normal yep and so I remember getting like denied uh, washing dishes and so like that sucked and then um, I had a buddy that uh, was an ABA th- uh, he he owns a company that uh, mm-hmm. teaches kids on the spectrum um, social skills and motor skills through different sports and activities mm-hmm. and stuff like that and. Um, so I was telling him about this and he's like, dude, you want to like try working for me? And I was like, I don't know, man, that sounds way harder than like <laughs> washing dishes. Yeah. 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 I was this like, I don't, these good, are, right? these you are people's dishwasher children. In the back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, you missed the spot, children. Justin. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. he's like, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll like, let's just see, like, you never know. So, um, and then I did that and 
working there is when I got back into skateboarding. Mm-hmm. I was, you literally took my next question was it's impressive that another impressive thing about you is that yeah, you work, you know, and not yep. only work, but with kids on the spectrum, which is just an exhausting job and a hard job. Oh, so. it is yeah. so hard. It, so exhausting. It's seen, uh, but so worth it. Cause it's mm. not like uh, the people always say like, Oh, it's so hard. I'm like, I get to go home. These parents like, yeah, it's twenty four seven. So if yeah. I can just take an hour out of their day where they don't have to, like you know, yeah. uh, have to be on or working on mm-hmm. behavior mm-hmm. skills. So like, so even like, so when you look at it from that perspective, it's like I was barely doing anything like comparatively. But um, yeah, but I don't do that anymore. Now I get to skate all the time. You mm-hmm. know, like full time skater. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. It yeah. definitely Life, shows. Yeah, that you're full time skating. It's yeah, yeah. I'm very. The progress is unreal. Yeah, I yeah. I'm just I'm trying to push it as far because like if we keep going this is not like a gimmick this is not a fad this is like a real thing Growing and like yeah yeah like and like the blind and visually impaired skaters are showing up now and it's so sick yeah we're talking with mike who's running the contest yeah it's he was cool. saying the yeah. same stuff he was saying that this is gonna be the yeah. most of us that have been together at one contest yeah like blind skaters, it's really awesome. Three, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, three blind mice. But that's still yeah. huge. That's huge, dude. No, it and it's so really huge. Big. And I always have to say, like, it's because of Dan. Like, if you're, if everybody that, because I was already skating, and then your Red Bull um, mm-hmm. uh, doc came out, and all my friends were like, "Dude, dude, dude, you, <laughs> you have to like check this out. You have mm-hmm. to like check this out." And I had people describing the videos to me because. At that time, I was only skating at work on the mini ramp, and then mm. in my garage with the garage down because mm-hmm. I was embarrassed. Like I didn't Damn. want, I didn't want anyone to take away skateboarding. I finally had it back, and I loved it. And I, I was like, I was like, what are you gonna think of a blind guy skateboarding? Like, like I don't want anyone to be like, you're blind, you can't do that. I didn't want to hear that, so I was like, I did it like secretly. Yeah, stepping back, stepping back on the skate park for the first time was super intimidating. Yeah, you know, just being around, you don't know exactly the same feelings you had. Like, yeah, is this gonna be like? Are people gonna be running into me? Are people gonna be bummed? Am I gonna be in their way? Yeah, I'm like, am I gonna oh, be I able that. to skate in here? Anyway, the first couple times, yeah, just like even feeling the ledges, like this is a tall ledge. This I don't know about any of this. <laughs> yeah, and then just working away, and then it was the same thing with the, getting back into street skateboarding. Cause I had to find like a whole other group of friends too, and just like <laughs> meeting a new group of people. You know, they don't, I'm the first blind person they're hanging out with and like super intimidating, but dude, it's not like once you get into it, it's like so inviting and everyone's stoked. Everyone's like happy you're at the park and now it's just like all good vibes and dude. Yeah. Everyone's everyone's so, he's so like awesome and stoked. Like, yeah, uh, like nowadays I'm just like, what was I thinking? I could have had a head start instead of like Mm -hmm. 150 degrees in my garage trying to like (laughs) practice kick flips. Oh yeah. In Vegas in the garage with the door door down. down, Cause I didn't want people to see me. Yeah. (laughs) No, I see. I kind of like always dealt with that anxiety though. Like of going to the skate park, especially cause I grew up going to this one skate park with this mini ramp all the time. Yeah. Like uh, starting back up like two years ago after meeting back up with you guys and a couple months before that. And I used to go to a skate park and if there was too many people on the mini ramp, I would leave. Like mm-hmm. I just wouldn't even skate. And that was it would stop me from doing stuff like and it, you'd you'd miss out on so much. Mm-hmm. And, and now after I linked up with you guys in Detroit and like met all these awesome blind skateboarders. Like, I met Justin first, and I remember meeting him. It was, like, meeting a hero, dude. Like, I was there following him on the internet, and, like, he inspired me so much with skateboarding. And just meeting all you guys, like, it basically, like, normalized it for me. Like, dude, it's fine that you're a blind skateboarder. Like, embrace it. And, like, don't, like, people can give up one section of a park for you to just, like, get a couple lines and, you know, and just, like, feel it out. And people, it's basically yourself a lot of the time where you're, like, creating your own anxiety because everyone's always so stoked to like mm-hmm. yeah. let you do your thing or like watch or help, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, th- I was, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, um, just like, I don't know about you guys, but um, maybe you, Dan, cause you were a skater before. Um, like finally when I returned to skateboarding and it was out there, like with my friends at parks, they always tried to give me to parks. I'm like, I'm not going to go there. I'll mm-hmm. skate at this like warehouse mini ramp by myself, like after work and I'll skate in my garage. Like you're nuts. But finally when I was out there with all my friends and doing that again, 
I was a skateboarder again. And that's the identity that I was, that I missed when I was, when I lost my vision, I was blind and I am, I do not identify myself as a blind. I, and it was stopping me from doing, doing stuff. I hated it. I just missed being a skater. That's who I am. And that's who I will always be. So like, I always like tell people like, you know, if you want to call me a blind skater, I don't care. If you want to call me a gimmicky skater, I don't care. If you want to say I'm a sucky skater, I don't care. As long as the word skater is attached to whatever you want to call me, I am happy because I'm a skateboarder and that's all I care about. Yeah, that was, that was the biggest piece for me too, is getting that, that piece of identity. Yeah. Like yeah. just realizing, cause I went through that whole, the whole thing too, of just trying to figure out what am I going to do? Who am I? And then getting that back was like the most important piece to have. Yeah, you know, feeling like, like comfortable in your own skin and like stoked on your just who you are and what you do. So. See, it's amazing, like hearing you guys talk about this, like because you lost your sight later in life. Yeah, I went through this my whole childhood. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I had this constant anxiety of not feeling comfortable in my own skin, trying so hard to like imitate being sighted, <clears throat> like that. I I used to walk in my feet and just sh- do the shuffle. Like, yeah, I, I, slow, I, yeah. yeah, slow shuffle. And I used to like put my braille books under my desk and think no one could see me. All this stupid stuff. And then once you do accept yourself. <laughs> imagine, are dude, you reading? No, I'm just no, masturbating. Dude, it's just yeah. masturbating. <laughs> are you sure you're not reading? No, no, I would never read braille. It's just masturbation. <laughs> Dude, it was it was embarrassing having yeah. these huge like handouts and stuff. Sure. I used I told Dan I would I would uh, have the print handout that they would yeah. give out and have it on my desk and act like I could read it. And half the time it was like upside down or something. <laughs> and start scribbling on it with a pencil like I was in, I was participating. Teacher yeah. just walks by and like yeah. flips it around. <laughs> there you go, Anthony. Yeah, it's. But, yeah, it's the, it's it's having that identity that gives you that uh, like confidence yeah. because like. Dude, I have to be the most annoying skater in the world. I literally have mm. a box that beeps all the time, <laughs> and it's got to be so annoying. But I'm just like, yo, that's helped me get my tricks. It's I don't whatever. give a, I don't care at all what I'm doing. Like, I can have rope out, I can have whatever, but you know, I got that trick. That's all mm. that matters to me. So like, that's why I'm like, exactly. I don't even care if I'm like distracting you or anything like that. I don't snake, but yeah, I gotta be annoying. <laughs> when did you start adapting those tools after you went blind went and started the, skating again? The beeper was right away. Cause I kept really? falling off the ramp. Um, mm. Yeah. So we only had uh, a single ply ramp. So that's only four feet wide. And um, I kept going off the side <laughs> of it. So it was only like, two three feet two and a half feet so i mean it wasn't like <laughs> too, too bad of a far yeah. but like i it happened too much where i was like i can't even get my tricks like i'm <laughs> yeah. flying off when i'm trying to lock in so that was instantly the the beeping thing was instant um where did you find or hear about the beeper box blind runners uh when i was like going through like trying to figure out like you know i was like all right i'm blind i can't skate anymore but like maybe i I am athletic and so like i Mm. tried gold ball i tried beeper ball Mm -hmm. i mean you did try gold ball ball. no way yeah i tried it all but it's just you know being a skater like team sports just aren't for me Mm because like you could have the best day of your life and like somebody else sucks and you're like hey we all worked hard in the back here like man, fuck that guy. That guy sucked today. And I hated having that feeling. Or you could, everyone else could kill it and then you suck and you're like, oh man, I'm a horrible person. And so I just, I hated that, like letting people down or somebody else, like when it was out of your control. So, you know, I tried it, but um, so yeah, blind runners were using that to sprint and um, so if they didn't have a guy, they can do, uh, you know, like maybe like 30 or 40 yard sprints Mm. back and forth and just run to those two beeps and, you know, not veer too far off and give you a good, good. um, And I was like, Oh, I can use that. And then the uh, rolling ball tip is because I used to hate those when I was learning my cane um, Mm. skills, but I kept breaking marshmallow tips and I kept getting, uh, uh, Pretty Jab. much jabbed. Like yeah. the minute my marshmallow would hit the coping, it'd come right back at oh. me or just fly out of my hand. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the rope was for the handrail. I couldn't get, I was trying to handrail on my last part and I just couldn't. There was mm-hmm. a couple times where um, that's actually how I uh, tore my meniscus was that handrail without mm-hmm. rope. Ooh. Trying to just. How many stairs? A couple times. Five, it was a five stair, uh, five stair handrail. Um, Is that the one that you actually got in your part though, right? Yeah, yeah that's that the top. Awesome. Yeah, on the that top. got the trick of the year right 
Yeah, uh, it was called the Sight Unseen Award. It, you know, that's what it was yeah, called, yeah, right? Yeah, I, was so I loved funny. it because yeah, they usually give it for like <laughs> spots that no one has uh, uh, skated before. But uh, because of the plan that's word so sight cool. unseen, I was like, so that is sick. sick. Yeah, that was yeah. sick, dude, seeing that. That was really cool. Yeah. First blind handrail ever, dude. Yeah, it took a while, though. It was a whole pandemic, six, seven months. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I'll be complete. I've cried so many times, not from pain. Just walking away, knowing mm -hmm. that it beat me again. It was I gotta go back. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I have to go back. Yeah, torn meniscus. Uh, one, oh, uh, my only concussion being blind is from a heat stroke I got at that handrail. Oh. Um, you yeah, didn't get a concussion from a heat stroke? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> did you fall? Apparently. I didn't know nope. did you, you No, just it's when your brain is just so dehydrated. Dehydrated. Oh and then, so it, like any kind of just jostling of it. And so I was out. That was kind of scary. And the skater instinct kicked in. I don't remember any of it, but it was like, don't take me to a hospital. Don't take me to a hospital. And then I kind of come to and Carol has Carol and my dad have me in his shower. And I'm like, you know, like trying to be cooled down. I'm like, why don't you guys take me to a hospital? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, my God. Like, you said don't go. I was like, well, yeah, I'm a dumb why skater. Why are you listening to me? Yeah. I'm concussed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Self-diagnosed. Oh, man. Speaking of Carol, dude, yeah. that's another thing that really inspires me because Kelly yeah. and I have, you know, we're team as well yeah and you and carol you guys work together so well and you have such a system yeah and where did you guys when did you first meet i've actually yeah, been curious yeah. about so that. um I, I we met on bumble what i used to do is go to bars and let my girlfriends uh swipe for me it's like my my, <laughs> my friends uh yeah my, my friends that were girls they would just like because i wouldn't let my dirtbag friends do it like yeah. guys or uh, yeah. dirtbag so they'd kind of like you know read the profile check her out and and so that was like <laughs> that was one date that just worked yeah yeah that's amazing yeah. I don't so know your what. friends picked. Where it. did you yeah, guys yeah. go on your first wow. date? Uh, I every first date any girl ever goes on with me is at uh, a bar because it's easy. They can have food there and stuff like that, but that way it's easy. Like <sighs> that way, if I if I'm not into them, then I could be like, ah, uh, you know, I was only had time for like one or two drinks. So peace. yeah, I can, get out, I can yeah. get out. But like anything else, you have to wait for the check. You got to wait for her to get done eating, and so it's just it's easier. <laughs> did you have any Close. awkward blind dating moments? <sighs> Not awkward, uh, you know. Most times it's awkward for them when they do something weird, but not for mm -hmm. me. You know, it's just I'm trying to think. No, no, nothing awkward. Did you say in your profile that you were blind, or would they just yeah, show yeah, up yeah. and they're like, "Oh, he's blind"? No, no, I have my profile. I uh, <laughs> some of my photos. If I'm outside, I have my cane. So yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was blind. So yeah, I wasn't hiding it. There were times yeah. in my life when I was, in the, I was telling Dan that I would hide. <laughs> my blindness and i would try to like yeah. talk to girls and not tell them i was blind and like <laughs> fake it for the longest time and then they find out they'd be like, wait you're blind and like i actually it's happened to me before in the past when yeah. i was younger where they would stop talking to me like and I probably just, it gave they, me so much anxiety they probably mm. think you're so rude like this motherfucker's not even making eye contact with me yeah. how rude is this dude <laughs> yeah, it's bad. no and then they he's find looking out at this blind. other girl across <laughs> the yeah, he's looking at me dude <laughs> uh, are you just staring at her who yeah well, Dan, so what about you? Um, did you take any time off when you, uh, you, you lost your sight? You can interview Dan on your podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, all, I'm curious. Like, how, time did you take time off of skating? I was just messing yeah. with you. Or did you just keep going? No, yeah, I took time. I took a lot of time off. Uh, okay. A couple of years. And yeah. I had other stuff. I had kind of slowly was phasing on to skateboarding just because of life itself, a bunch of uh, stuff going on. Okay. Uh, move in, stuff with my kid and separating yeah. with his mom and stuff. So, like, I would cruise around the park a little bit here and there yeah um i only and recently I like, became an adult <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. and i like uh i would always like yeah i would still like cruise around the skate park yeah uh but then i remember yeah at one point i was like yeah i'm done skateboarding like for good like yeah. i'm definitely hung it up yeah. um and then yeah and then i slowly slowly got back into it after i did some cane training and like yeah, filmed some videos, and I was like, all right, this is cool. And then I got motivated to film a, uh, I think it was probably Red Bull piece first. Yeah. Or no, I did something for Gencom. You guys know Gencom? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, it's like an East Coast yeah. uh, lifestyle magazine. Yeah. Like heavy and skating, too. Yeah. And then did, they did a piece on me, and then Red Bull, then I was like, dude, I want to film like a full street part skating. Yeah. Because that was always my favorite thing, was street fil filming full parts. So. Yeah, I remember that part. It was a while getting back into it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was over it for a minute. And then, like you said, that whole identity thing, I was still like, didn't feel like myself and was just like, 
not as much self confidence and all that stuff. Yeah. And that really helped to help get me back to me and keep me on my board too. Yeah. And right. then realizing that you can like actually progress too. Yeah. I'm a I'm a better skateboarder technically now than I was when I was sighted for sure. I put more work into it now than I Definitely ever had more before. Work, yeah. But um but rail handrails, I don't I haven't done a handrail yet, so I don't that way I'm even not, sighted? not as good. No, I done yeah, I done a bunch of rails. Oh, okay, okay, I loved okay. rails when I was sighted. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's but I never like scary. flipped into anything or even flipped out of anything, and I can do all that stuff now. So oh, really? Feels good. Yeah, oh. I never skated the ledges, dude, or anything like that. <laughs> rails, gaps, and like little weird, herby street spots, bonks, like oh. bonking off stuff. Oh, I do. I miss pole jams. I'll never pole be able jam, to hit a pole jam again. But like, uh, sometimes I like. I, I think like, with dream a dream about a pole jam. My idea for that is uh, using one of those bungee cords. Put but a bungee still, on it and pull you right to what, it. What if you're slightly off? Yeah, I mean you got to be leaning back, be <laughs> ready for it. But I mean you're not going to you're not going to go right full blast at it the first time. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And I'm yeah. not going to do like a full size like waist high. Skiing. Yeah, pole jam. You know, there's some smaller ones you can pull start up. on the pole jam and just bungee off. I do of it. miss. I miss pole jams a lot. I miss rails, and then I miss uh, like rainbow rails. Like yeah, sometimes skate yeah. parks have them, just riding up and down. Oh man, that was yeah. just sick. I miss. Uh, yeah, I tried one of those in England and got grinding. Not working. Grinding into the bowl. I miss grinding into the bowl. <laughs> like, was, like on the side thing. and grinding. Yeah, over. like you know, just come full speed and just like, <laughs> and then in. I, I miss, I miss Allie and in transition. Yeah. What's the worst skate injury you've ever had, Justin? Uh, the the meniscus is the worst because it doesn't heal, um, and I fucked it up so much that mm -hmm. it. So I I did it during the pandemic. Um, I couldn't get surgery because. Everything Hospital. was closed down, and I didn't have COVID, but, you know, I had a, my leg was messed up. Mm -hmm. and they were just like, oh, we're not doing stuff right now. And so I took uh, two weeks off, and I was like, I still need that handrail. So I kept going, and I hamburger meated my um, my meniscus because of it. Oh, and um, that, so when I finally got to a doctor, they were like, they were like, all right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fix it, blah, blah, blah. And so I come up day, day of appointment, and they're like, yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> we, like, we can't even find out the how day they find you were it. supposed to get your surgery? Yeah, yeah. So he you were signed up, confident. scheduled for surgery. You were, yep. you were mentally like, all right, I'm doing this. Uh, yep. Like wow. the night before, probably can barely we, sleep. We just bought that, you know, that insane knee brace that, like, you lock it in. So yeah. Oh, look. the bionic thing? It, it, Is it, like, metal? I, I think so, but it's like you can like put a key lock on it so you can't move it at all. What, for, what Forrest Gump had? Yep, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And so I was like, we're ready to go. And then he was like, I don't know what I was ta thinking about. Like, he's like, this really? and that. And he's like, you have some bone chips over here. And I was like, oh, man. Yeah. And he was like, uh, he was like, I honestly, like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm skateboarding. And he's like, right now, I'm like, eh, not good, but yeah. And he's like, I don't think you can anymore. And I was like, all right. Yeah, You're telling yeah. a blind guy that came back to skateboarding he won't be able to do it again and again? I was like, no, nah, hey, good mm, luck. Yeah, watch out, buddy. Yeah. I'm just going to get better now. I have adaptive homies with one leg. We're good. Yeah. Like, I'll keep <laughs> yeah. going. Yeah. Yeah, no, Damn. it's... Dan is a blind amputee skater. I'm amputee too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Half a thumb. Prosthetic. His um, where the camera is somewhere. He has an um. Did you get that because of pressure? Pressure? No, no, in, no. In we're not eyeball. talking about his eyeball. We're talking about his thumb. My thumb. Have you ever felt a half thumb? thumb? No, I didn't know that. Dan has, he has one and a half thumbs. Oh, you want to feel it? Feel it. Uh, it's gonna gross me it's out. Not it's just a nub. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Damn. Would you do that? Um. <laughs> Pressure. No, it was, yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody pressured me to touch a jigsaw. Yeah, I was like, you can't pressure this kid. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this spring thing. I told the story on here. Like, uh, uh, oh, it's, it's a football. Uh, <laughs> it's a football thing. It has like these big arcs and these padded arms you run through, uh, and then the, where the arms connect to like the arch, there's like springs in there. Yeah. My buddy was laying across the top, and it got caught in the spring. I was like, oh. I was like seven, I think seven years old. Oh wow. Squished it so I couldn't sew it back on. It was all messed up. Gnarly. Mangled. Bummer. You can only put one thumb up your ass. <laughs> yeah, no, I got one and a half, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. It, it cutting you short. Still and, a nub. Uh, yeah. But, no, that's yeah, crazy. Amputee skater, too. Amputee skater. I got to tell Mike that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You forgot. No. <laughs> amputee <laughs> division. What, is that your left hand? Right hand. Right hand? That's cane the hand. Get your cane hand. Cane oh. hand. Yeah, my grip, dude. Good. I'm telling yeah. you. This, I'm an empty skater, dude. It's harder yeah. for me. It's. I, I remember one of the first times we met, we just, it was so craziest that, like, 
your canes in your backhand, and then it blew your mind that my canes in my front hand. I was like, I don't know how you're doing that. And then you, I remember you were like, so I don't know how you're doing that. I yeah, like, yeah, I don't know how Dan holds it in his backhand. I, I mean, I seatbelt well, you're goofy, when I need to. So that it. makes sense. What, the front hand? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I'm just... Uh, no, I, I'm I, goofy. I just are you goofy, Justin? No, I'm right. regular, but like still, like I I can seatbelt when I need to, but I cannot seatbelt just all the time. Dude, what well, are you left-handed though? Sometimes, but like Nor, when you walk with your cane, you walk with left. No, I do both. I get tired, so I switch it oh, back and tired. forth. Yeah. Well, what's your dominant? Like, what's the one you use? Uh, probably, your, like, it's my left hand up. now. Everything's because of skateboarding. And everything like You've so, done going like your left. my sh- my cane now is shorter because I used a short cane to skate because mm-hmm. long cane was just jabbing me in the bowl and now i'm used to a in short balls. In yeah, the bowl. <laughs> yeah and now a short cane i just walk around with a short cane now oh really yeah, yeah. i always feel weird because i switch back and forth yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan, Dan. we were just talking about that yeah, we were. yeah after skate trips like i'm only using skate <laughs> cane and then i come back home with this long cane I'm like whoa, this whoa. Feels weird. yeah right hand i gotta be able to touch down with my left dude yeah but oh, see, the, I, got, I touch with my my right yeah, what, yeah, that helps you with the rope. I'd have to switch to using the rope. Yep, yep, yeah, uh, front side and all that as mm. well. So. What are like some of the the next big? Do you have anything big on the schedule coming up this year? Ten stair. That's what. Yeah, so I jab my leg again trying a ten stair. <sighs> oh, you tried it? Yeah, yeah. I um back in November oh, I jumped down it and it was one and done. Where I was like, I did Whoa. not, I didn't absorb oh, my, my knee at all. Yeah, and it was the worst pain in, up my mm. leg. So because I got I got a seven. And then, but like, I feel like anything between a seven and ten, it's like might as well just go for a ten. Cause Dude, like you jumped seven. off the ten and. You, Did you land on you your board? landed so you landed no no I didn't so I, right? I didn't land on my board so I, I, cle- I cleared it kicked out and I didn't know where the ground was mm. and so oh. I I just took the ground straight was no your leg knees. locked uh not locked oh. but it was extended because I then I crumpled so oh. but like just that first oh. impact because it 10 stairs close to like a uh, one story. Mm-hmm. And so it was. It was just a little much, and so I did that. And <laughs> that I was like, is so nah. insane. Trying to ollie, right? Or were you trying something else? No, nope, just ollie. Yeah. I was just, you know, oh my gosh. you know, if uh, sometimes I'm, I want to go big or go home. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Yeah. That is. I've I've always been one of those the bishop, that, dude. Yeah, this is part of like. When you're not that's that good at skateboarding, insane. all you have to do is go big, and then people are like, "Oh, he's you gotta like, stop he's good. saying that." You're good at skateboarding. No, nah, I think Sorry. it's Super it's good. probably just you're like good. every skater gets you're humble, not but not you're jealous, good. but like you just respect what you can't do. I and feel so, that. like every time, because I always know, like uh, whenever I'm with like street guys, they're always like, "Man, like skating a bowl is so hard." I'm like, "No, it's not." Like, well, you, so it's always like that. Like it's it you you respect what you can't do because it, you just know how hard it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be like trying. Cause I'm still pretty like new in my journey in this, and like I'll be skating like a round rail or something, and I'll do like a fifty fifty after like a thousand tries, yeah. and I'll be so stoked. And there's a homie next to me doing like front crooks down like the rain like mm. down crook rip like you know it's just it's good damn. you should Pink always rails, always just... compare yourself to sided skaters that's <laughs> what i do no yeah. i'm like i'm like for real like i'm always trying to like make side if a sided skater goes oh, i need to go harder or you know something like that mm. i'm like good yeah, that's true so i always like that like you getting know the, getting it hype dude yeah you share the stoke that's what skating's all about all the... yeah feeding off each other and pushing it yeah yeah, we're hoping, dude. If you keep this up, you can, uh, do tour next year with us. Yeah, we'll yeah see. doggy. Yeah. Do tour. That was my first or oh, second at that. That was a lot, dude. That was hectic. Huh? Do tour is rough, man. That was, was that so? Was that the most <coughs> nerves ever tournament? Yeah, because my dad was there. It was the Mountain Dew Tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike V was... Uh, Mike was, V yeah. from Jersey, baby. Yeah, yeah. So he was, like, there Street for... Plan. Like, he was there, um, like, cheering me on. And so... That's sick. Yeah, it was It was just so... And, like, he's uh, my favorite skater ever. So, mm-hmm. like, yeah. it's kind of weird. So we when I met him the day before... I had the like he probably thought it was rude because it was like I had to walk away because I started to cry. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, like, yeah. and you can't cry in front of Mike V. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, it was like, I get out here, man. And I just like it was like left and like, uh, but um, oh my god, yeah, yeah. But I got to, the next day, finally, all the nerves were out because yeah. it was my first time meeting him. So like when I met him the second day, I was like, what's up, man? And I was like normal. But that first day, you're like, I wouldn't be 
a skater if it wasn't for you because like everyone has their skater that like yeah. you looked up to and mine was like mine was mike v because he skated like me he he, mm. he went hard he went fast and he would just destroy his body for the trick <laughs> and so i was yeah, like that's i can it. respect that and so i i mean i can understand it i get why he like skates like that and one of the coolest things too is um, the trick selection he has with like his bonelesses, his, you know, mm-hmm. hand plants, his street plants and all that in a time where, you know, it was street skating or nothing. And he just gave a big middle finger to everybody. It was like, <laughs> that is the guy I want to be like, is oh. just do savage. Do. Yeah. Like the, uh, he, he has street plant. My yep. buddy rides for them and. He lives in Cali. Mike, you saw Mike V was doing the uh, barracks uh, yeah, game battle. of skate. Yeah. And he was actually, my homie makes grip tape called Brunswick Grip. And Mike V was rocking the grip tape, too. Oh, my homie right. was actually filming him, like, at the barracks. Oh, really that's cool. so sick. Yeah, Mike V. I remember getting his boards when I was a little grom, like, just when I was rolling around on a knee on a board. Yeah. Like, pushing yeah. on my knee. Yeah. I would get the Mike V boards. They would have the elephant on the bottom, dude. They were Black sick. Black label. Oh. Yeah. Logo. Yeah. Sick. Valley? Is that how you say it? Valley, yeah. No, right? it's, no it's not it's Valley. 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 Yeah, yeah. Valley, isn't yeah. it? Valley? Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's not Valley. It's it's Valley. It's Valley. Valley. Yeah, it's, it's Valley, but it, because Snow. of that, because of that CKY, it's Valley. Everyone jokes with him, Valley. Oh, it's just Valley. It's like who's yeah, it's just Valley. It's I just, remember him on the nine club. I thought it wasn't Valley. I swear. No, no it's Valley. <laughs> it's just everybody. It's everybody fucks with him because of that Bam CKY thing. It's like oh, Valley. Yeah. It's Valley. Valley. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, I did watch. That I think it's CKY. just Mike yeah. V. Yeah, he's going. You can go, go Mike V. And that's then, yeah. that's, that's why the cop out. Everybody says Mike V because I don't want to get beat up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. What about, uh, have you met your dream skater yet? Me? Either one. Me? I'm sitting next to both of them. <laughs> no. Nice answer. Yeah. Uh, you need to say your dream's higher, man. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine, uh, I mean, I met a lot. I have a lot. I met a few of them, but. One I would like to meet would be Cardiel and then Tony T. Uh, so Tony oh, T was always Cardiel. my favorite. TNT. Tony T, Trans World in Bloom, favorite video all time. I just remember his shoe. Part ever. So on anything else the, uh, yeah. uh, coming up, though, for this year? I'm really curious. Do you have anything like that you can talk uh, com- about? Competitions. Honestly, like you guys know, skateboarding's so last minute. So I, if if it's happening, I just don't know it yet. But the only thing I got planned is uh, the the border competitions. At least they plan those out. Um, Mountain Dew Mountain Dew Tour. If it's happening, mm-hmm. I hope they do it. Um, hopefully this year, X Games will have the adaptive division like they did mm-hmm. in uh, 2019. Um, Working on a part, right? Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, we're working on a part, so it's, you know, the, the filming supposed to, like, I kind of pushed the filming to March, um, cause I just, I haven't found enough spots yet, and I mm-hmm. like having my spots laid out first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you so, can map them out. Yeah, so. You, so, you like but, to plan it out more? Yeah, yeah, cause I, I don't like, uh, going to a spot and then just skating. I want to go to that spot, feel it out, think about it, dream about it, I dream about skateboarding, so. <laughs> Um, the the handrail I wasn't gonna uh, for that handrail next to the handrail is this dirt gap and that's what I went to that spot for mm-hmm. and I met that handrail and we just hit it off and I was like oh this is it so that, that's why like the, I saw that my rail my buddy your buddy uh, found that rail on Bumble Should yeah <laughs> yeah we just, we just hit it off and it was yeah it was, it was it was the 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 trick off to the side because it was yeah it was supposed to be the gap and. Um, it just became that rail because mm-hmm. it's like just uh, it was just perfect. It, the the run up had these cracks that were thick enough that you can like feel them, but not big enough that you'd like get mm-hmm. into them. So mm-hmm. I heard did it did it ready, and then mm-hmm. so that's what it was. As before, I found the trick with the knots and the mm-hmm. rope. Yeah, but that's oh, where you is did that, the... that rail without the rope. No, oh, I, I tried it. I tried it a couple times without the rope, and then I messed up my leg. And then we f- used the rope, and I just didn't know the. I didn't think about tying knots in the rope to mm, judge timing. Techniques. So I used these cracks that were like did it, did it, did it, and they were like these pattern cracks that I could feel. But it would have been way easier if I could have felt the knot in the rope. Sometimes it's the mm-hmm. simplest thing. You're like, why didn't I think about tying a knot in a rope? It took me five years to use a rope, and I was like, yeah, "That's the f- smartest thing ever. Why didn't I do a rope?" <laughs> we're figuring it all out. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. There's no one that's really done it before. <laughs> yeah, all blind, so you're figuring it all yeah. out. Was that the first 
That was the first time you used a rope? Yep, for the handrail. Wow. Yeah, because I, I got a bottom rail before that handrail. And um, that one, I was like rolling up to it, sticking my hand out. And then with the minute I'd feel the handrail in my, because it had like maybe two feet of a flat bar on top before the down of the handrail. So mm-hmm. the minute I'd feel that, then I'd uh, ollie on and then I kind of ollie holding onto the rail still. But that's oh, when I yeah. did the, it was like a five stair uh, uh, handrail that I did on the bottom rung of the handrail. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh, yeah. the like last little part of it. Is that what you're saying? I'm no, trying to so like there's, um, so most handrails, they have a, 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 the top that most skateboarders skate and then the bottom. Oh, there's because there's the double rail, yeah, right? Or is yeah. that what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a bottom rail. Oh, and so wow. you had to like pop out. So I had to pop out uh, because then they have like the thing coming the, up. The so stopper, I had to right? pop yeah. out uh, a mm. stair. Uh, and so I had to ollie out to make it to the oh, flat. Shit. But that one I wasn't using a rope. That one was just like all like, hands. So on you're ollie like over the last stair yeah. on the hand. Yeah, oh, that one man, was crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. yeah. So, so hopefully we'll, um, you know, film. What about you? Are you filming? Are you filming, Anthony? When are you get into part? I know. I keep pushing him. He's he's getting in the groove. I'm starting to, f- yeah. you know, I'm you fil- he filmed his your first street clip uh, a couple like what a month ago. Yeah, I had one little clip. I didn't yeah. post or anything, but it just. I'm getting my stacking it, getting my sea legs. Yeah, feeling it out. What What was your uh, first street obstacle? It was just like a. So there was like a. Um, it was under this bridge, and there was like a high ledge type thing where it like one side was kind of short, and then it went over into the other side, like down this bank. So it got yeah. steeper each as you go further, mm-hmm. and then there's a. It leads up to like one of those handicap like ramps. Yeah. You know, with, like, rails on either side. Yeah. And I was doing, like, uh, grinds on the ledge and then, like, back or front side 180s over the thing into the bank and stuff oh, like that. Oh, sick. It was fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, dude, take you to some ditch spots. Like, yeah, mo- most I, of yeah, us bowl skaters, we go to it, yeah. ditch spots. Yeah. See, I ne- this is my first time skating bowls. Like, I, I've only skated uh, mini, mini ramps, ramps really. Yeah. So, bowls, it's a totally new animal, but I love it. And, like, today... After I dropped in on that, I was like, oh, that was so fun. And I was just like, oh, I wish I, yep. like, had one of these, like, at home, like, by my home. You guys have concrete out there, like, concrete bowls? Not with that coping and everything. Yeah, the coping. Nice. Even in Vegas, mm-hmm. there's only a couple spots with pool coping, but... Um, that sound is just so... Yeah, yeah, it is cool. <laughs> yeah. The creek, yeah, I love that. It's really cool. Um, the music of skateboarding. Here. Yeah. Yeah, we went back earlier. It was still packed, but we just sat by the bowl just listening to these kids just fly mm-hmm. out and just grind. And, oh, yeah, it's it was really. Yeah, it was just like, there yeah. was this like nine-year-old like tray flipping the four stair to them. <laughs> it was what? insane, dude. He was yeah. going yeah. psycho. Yeah. Yeah, he was, was getting after it this morning. Kept barking. <laughs> yeah, he kept barking. His dad or trainer His or whatever. Trainer, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, he was like, you big like, dog. You a big dog or little dog? He's like, a big dog. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd like be doing a trick and I'd I'd like miss it like yeah. time it. He'd be like he'd be riding past me, he'd be like, You got that every time. Let's go. What time in the morning is this? Uh, it was like nine. Oh, it was like, dude, was so I was like, Who got the dogs on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's yeah. great though. I really appreciate you taking the time the, yeah, even definitely. the night before the tournament and just yep. yeah, yeah, I know you only got you only got three hours uh yeah. So Dan, Justin got in at like 3 a.m. last night. Uh, yeah. it was supposed to be midnight, right? Yeah, we were supposed to get in at midnight. At 3 a.m. and you uh, got to the hotel. What yeah, we you- finally got to the hotel at 3 a.m. So I think we landed at like 1.30. Oh, so man. it was just mm. delayed by that much. So we got what finally. What time did you wake up? I was up at 6.30. Oh, man. Yeah, I had an alarm set. So I wanted to get some coffee in, mm-hmm. get a little, like, food in. I had the massage gun, my legs out, and then get to the park. Because I know Friday, before these competitions, these kids, like, act like they will never touch a skateboard again. So they are yeah, there for, like, 10 hours. Snake City, too. It's, yeah. like, everyone that can just get an inch will yeah. take. Yeah, you the know? contest mode is intense. It's, it's really intense. You can cut the tension with a knife. It's it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, you but feel uh, that. Um, well, skate, be cool. saw you skating today. I think you're ready, dude. Yeah, I, the I bowl felt good. So. I've been practicing a bowl similar to that in Vegas. Mm. Um, so yeah, the bowl I'm ready for. Street, we'll see. <laughs> oh, you're killing it. You never, you never know. It's my mm. my my street game is not consistent, so it all depends on uh, how the skate gods bless me. 
That's how it is yeah. for me. Contest, dude. Boo. Yeah. I'm not. Can, I'm, just, can, I'm not consistent. That's the only. Yeah, thing yeah. Thing with my it gets it gets hard. So. Which means I'm not a good contest skater. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, honest. Like nowadays, like I actually, I, 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 the contest when I could see loved it. I loved all the consistency and all that. Mm. Nowadays, like I just want to like film parts. I love mm. skating, like. Uh, the street spots I love skating so we've been doing a lot of practicing at like street parks to get ready for like the mm-hmm. actual real streets and I mean anyone that I don't know you do you guys have like a do you guys have a blind following or these the people listening yeah definitely there's <laughs> no it's just people. it's just Dan's mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're just doing hey, it for her. <laughs> but uh yeah so I mean if you're if you're getting the skateboarding you gotta get to the streets that's actually like where Street uh, street skateboarding is just so important, so mm. got to get there. Preach, the preach, so, dude. That, uh, that or really a backyard pool. Up, you're really kissing up to Dan right now. No, no, no it's I'm, just, joking. I'm always it's preaching really it because Dan's yeah. always preaching. It's that. that, but like it's it's, it's true. Yeah, skateboarding is all about trespassing, and so I mean, like I yeah. like it's just pools are hard to find, like real backyard pools, because mm. I would do that all day. I've only skated like four pools that weren't meant to be skated yeah. and they're so much fun but street <laughs> so spots <laughs> hopping fences oh, man, dude yeah yeah, yeah. in places yeah. everything it's yeah so you said so you actually like to you like to go to a spot with a trick in mind i like to go to the spot let it sit with me and then and then and go back, go back because i love spending hours at a spot i, I love, guess I meant, I meant like when you film so you go there with a Tricky yes, mark. yeah, yeah. So, like, the minute... So, yeah, we'll go without the filmer, um, feel it out. I might go with another skater that will, like, he'll he'll shoot some tricks at me. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be like, you know, this is possible, but I'm going to go practice this, this exact trick. I know what park has this type of gap. And mm-hmm. so I'll go to that skate park and... Mm-hmm not focus too much on landing it, just focus on the actual flipping of the board or whatever trick I'm doing. And then the, the gap itself. And then I'll come back to that spot because you know, street skating, you get booted. Mm -hmm. So you're trying not to, you you got that, like hopefully 20 minutes before cops come. So, um, you just got to come prepared. And then a lot of spots, a bust in Vegas, uh, a bust. So it's weird because like you, you can get about 40 minutes on some spots and mm. then sometimes they don't come at all, which bad. is crazy. Yeah. So like it will even say the same exact spot. One time you can skate right. all day, nothing. But then like the next time you go 10 minutes there, cops will come. But usually like a majority to- of the time cops in Vegas will give you like, we're going to do one more lap. So oh, they'll give you done. Yeah. We'll Damn. give one more lap. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. So, cause like all they care about is tagging. Mm-hmm. and so they'll be like we'll, we'll do one more lap and then you know you gotta get out of here but i mean if it's like if you're on casino property or if you're on like a really really nice mall or strip mall yeah. or something where like you know Marble like rich ground. rich people are they're like you know they almost like handcuffs yeah, out but clean yeah. yeah but if you're like in you know uh, a lower like type of neighborhood or in the city like downtown vegas or something like that or you know some they, they don't care they're they like, have we're real doing one stuff more, to worry about yeah they're like as long as you guys aren't tagging we'll do one more lap so and then that usually means 20 more minutes and That's then the even best. when they return you're there they just kind of like whoop, whoop, and if they don't see you packing up then they will but you like you mm. hear the whoop whoop and then everyone starts packing <laughs> so it, they're cool yeah it's good dude. That's chill. Yeah, i remember when we were in detroit they didn't give any uh, craps about like us skating we were like in the city and they're like just cool with it it was nuts that's what's up dude it's super chill (laughs) yeah street yeah you can they don't give a shit yeah they just (laughs) drive right on by yeah stop like you blind (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) what's that stick for boy be careful and roll on by (laughs) you're blind oh Oh, man oh yeah Hey. Yeah, I think yeah, that's probably it. That's good. Yeah, where yeah, where like, can awesome. everyone find you, Justin? Uh, between you guys. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Justin the Bishop, uh, Insta, TikTok. Uh, that's about it. I don't really uh, do anything What else. about the New Yorker? Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to learn my full story, um, mm-hmm. the New Yorker did a really cool documentary on me. And uh, one of the cool things about that one was like every other little piece I've ever done, they always want to hear the happy stuff. So this one, they like, I was like, I'm not going to do anymore. I'm done with it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, but if you guys will let me actually get down and dirty about the parts that will like, you know, make people not feel happy. 
And they're like, yeah, we want that. And they're like, good. So, <laughs> yeah, so I was like, that. finally, like, because, you know, it's they, they everybody always wants that happy ending. And like, you know, I mean, it is a happy ending now, but man, it was not happy for a long time. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so that was a, a good thing. So the New Yorker uh, piece was really good. Yeah, that was, they really did a great job. Out, and yeah. you, that was really emotional. Super moving. Yeah. It was, they did a really good job. Yeah. Well, sick. another shout out when uh, Nick Mullins, like, was honest about his story. Like, then I was like, finally, yes. Okay. I mm-hmm. need to do that. that like, I moving. need to, like, you know, actually tell the truth. And so, like, tell, like, you know, this stuff sucks. This is, like, you mm-hmm. know, I'm not, I mean, you, you can say I'm an inspiration or whatever like that. But even even that kind of hurts a little bit because, like, you know, like, I, like, like everyone was, like, and you never gave up skateboarding. I'm like, I did give up skateboarding. I gave up <laughs> on myself. Like, you know, it's, yeah. like, let's tell the truth. Like, I did. I gave up. And I'm back now. But, you know, the, I wasn't that strong. So I want people to know that you don't have to be strong in the beginning. Nick no, Mullins. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Nick, what were you going to say? I was going to say, yeah, just a shout out to him because <clears throat> yeah. he was one, He was like my first inspiration. He inspired me when I first started skating. Yeah. He, he was the first blind, other blind person I saw. No skated offense with. to you. I wish I found him first because I was like, transition <laughs> skating. All <laughs> right. Yeah. I, like, I could do that. Like, He's it, insane. Yeah, yeah. He got me to, like, he dragged me basically. He, he got me back on a skateboard because, like, it was really hard for me to skateboard a lot because that's when my brother passed away and I used to skate with him all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Nick, like, pulled me out to Detroit with you guys and it just got me so stoked on mm-hmm. skateboarding. It's just a therapy. Like, it really yeah. is, you know, just falling and getting back up. I know we're going to get off, but dude, he's getting vert now. I, mm-hmm. I know. No, it's big. It's he's, big. He's we're going to link uh, the New Yorker and yeah. his. we'll link his... Uh, yeah. Yeah, his piece too. It's you gotta get him out to these contests because he'll fucking smoke Dude, us all. Yeah. He and his street skills are insane he, too. No, I know, I know. So yeah. he's got to, but we gotta get him out. Maybe we'll make a vert one so he just he's yeah stays. So out. he's yeah. like the he's only just, one yeah. doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, yeah, anytime, I hope, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Another episode of uh, well, this was six, six bad, bad eyes, eyes three yeah. blind mice, yeah, three blind skate rats. Yeah. And, uh, yep, you can contact us, uh, Dan at fourbadeyes.com or Anthony at fourbadeyes.com. And then fourbadeyes. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the email? Wait, that was right. And then it's okay. fourbadeyes.com. You can find all our links there. Okay. I'm ASF Vision. Dan. I'm, I'm Dan. Wait, wait one second. Yeah. Why is it called Four Bad Eyes when you only have, there's three? That's true. It should be three and a half bad eyes. No, Dan has a half a bad, no, he has half an eye still. No, it's not a half. What? What do you mean? Don't you have a prosthetic? Yeah, yeah. but it's not a full prosthetic. Like, oh, it's really? It's not a whole globe. Oh, I didn't know that. They, we, we'll we'll talk things. about this next. I, yeah, I, I everyone have that. a great night. Yeah. I'm very confused. Dan, can you, you send us off with your keep pushing? You keep pushing. <laughs> One love. Four bad eyes. We're out. Keep pushing. And one love from four bad eyes.